Hello people of YouTube and welcome back to Dark Souls 3 where we last left off we were working our way through the undead settlement. In this video we shall continue our way through the undead settlement. I don't know what those symbols are. Those must have come with the newest update. Okay. Cool. I honestly am confused by that. I have no idea what that is. But all that aside, we will move on and continue on our way to journeying through the land of Lothric. Yay. Yeah. Uh, anyway, so back to business. We also, in the last episode, had just gotten our pyromancy merchant. So, yeah, our first one anyway. So now, oh crap! Not what I wanted. Oh, hey, cool, that works. Just enough damage to kill him too. Sweet. Okay. Now if you want to be a real jerk in this game, you can kick off these undead here. They give you no souls for killing them. But you can do it if you want want to for fun. And we will burn this dog. I believe if you jump on that cart, you'll land on you won't take damage. Um, but from here, we will continue and make our way into the sewers. This area is relatively useful. And when I say relatively useful, I mean very much relatively speaking. We'll get the Cestus there. the giant rat which will get us the blood bite ring which I'm gonna go ahead and equip it because it's not a bad ring it simply raises bleed resistance well equipped it not super useful but not bad either and now we have a shortcut over to this extra bonfire here now there is a boss in the undead settlement but I don't know if I actually want to go and fight him oh crap we have ember I forgot about that shoot holy holy knight hodrick um we might actually come back to the boss in this area so there is some stuff I want to get in this direction. But we may come back to the boss of this area at a later time. The boss isn't super difficult to fight. Crap. The main thing that worries me about the boss here... Well, I say worry, but it's not so much a worry. As the boss here is more so just unnecessary. It's not a boss that you have to fight under any means. It is only required if you want boss soul weapon. Gosh darn it, Audric. Uh Boss soul weapons require a item called a transposing kiln to be handed off to uh, what's-his-face, Ludlith, back at Firelink Shrine. Bloodlift upon you giving him the transposing kiln will make you boss weapons from well boss souls. These boss soul weapons aren't I mean they aren't bad, do not get me wrong. They aren't the best weapons in the world, 
they aren't the worst. Either. They're actually relatively useful, depending entirely upon your build. Woohoo! Down, Hodrick. Down. Cool. But, yeah. So we'll head back now. I've got a few more souls. We can do some stuff here. Um, but the main thing with with the uh, with the boss here is that he's not a required boss under any circumstances. You can completely skip him and still finish the game without any problems. But for those who want to complete the game, he is necessary. And there are some items we can only get once we have the transposing kiln. Uh, but <laughs> since the boss oh, since the boss is not a required one I don't feel too much of a reason to, to go acquire. and acquire the uh, I don't feel a need to go Welcome, not speak. fight it just yet Very well. then take me. the boss may give a decent amount of souls and the well, weapons and, the and uh, spells and stuff you can get from it aren't bad either but they're not anything we're going to need right away but simply we don't necessarily need what he's going to give us we might later on because there are some pyromancies that you can only get from boss souls but at the current moment we don't need anything he has plus some of those items with the spells and stuff we can get from him we're probably not high enough level to use yet um, I also just remembered I have not equipped the other pyromancy I bought in the last episode and uh yeah. So, Flame Surge. If I recall correctly, close range pyromancy. It's like having a flamethrower. It's not super useful, but could be good for crowd control situations. Cool, dynamite. Now, the main reason we're going o over in this direction is there are a few items we can use here. Um, but you do want to be very careful running through here. As there is a, a guy in the area, far distance away, shooting a giant great bow. And at this point in time, he will shoot both, both you and the enemies. You can go meet with him, and upon meeting with him, he will agree not to shoot at you as you, are his, you make peace with him and become a friend. Of However, since we have not given, we have not gotten. He will shoot us and the enemies indiscriminately. We are all his targets, today, which can make it useful for dealing with the enemies, but can make it a pain when trying to get through the area itself. Pretty sure those guys will chase me. Huh, they stopped chasing after a little bit. Cool. Because one of the things I came for was not that. Okay, I messed up. Really. I really should have gone and talked to the guy shooting the boat before I came over here. Anyway, we'll get the great side. And then we will run past them all. 
just like run for our lives. Now this is how we get to the boss arena. The boss arena is right in there. However, there's also this door here, which is only openable from this side. Opening this door will take us out to this area, which those are the stairs we were on top of when we jumped down and went into the sewers. Because of that, I'm going to use a homeward bone, and I clicked the wrong bonfire. Oh well. Simply means we'll get the safety, as it's easier to do this than to go through the whole arena, the whole area again, to get back there. <coughs> now, we do have the scythe, which is a reaper class weapon, which could actually be a fun weapon. As I said a few episodes ago, I still have not decided on what weapon I want to be my main weapon, or type of weapon that this character will use. I kind of want to go for something different. Usually I use a lot of straight swords and rapiers and stuff like that. So I kind of want to try out some different weapons for once. Just to kind of have a different play style. Which is partly why I have not upgraded any of these, but I have upgraded my pyromancy flame. You know what? I'm filling the scythe. At least for now. So we'll use the scythe for a little while, and we'll go back to the cliff underside real quick. As we are going to make our way to the next area. Since we're not going to be taking on the boss, we're going to make our way to the next area of the game to work our way to that area's boss. As it will be a bit easier to get to and fight the next boss than, well, it's not really going to be easier than the boss of this area, but since the boss here can be a little annoying at times, I'd rather save it for later. I messed up the safe way you could get down here without taking fall damage. do have these people. Oh, and that dog who drew aggro on me. That's unusual. Someone walked off the cliff and died. Now what we are going to do next is we are going to run past all these people. Provided that we don't get hit. <laughs> uh, there is a guy over there you can talk to. He's not hostile unless you attack him. So don't attack him. Uh, we will deal with him later. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, we'll come up here and the elevator will start rising on its own. Darn it. It's an enemy. Oh, okay. Thank God. Don't want to attack this NPC. So let the enemy leave. <laughs> then we will come over here and speak with him. Hmm. 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 Oh. Pardon me, I was absorbed in thought. I am Siegbert of Katarina. To be honest, I'm in a bit of a pickle. Have you ever walked near a white birch only to be struck by a great arrow? Well, if I'm not mistaken, they come from this tower. Whoever it is, I'm sure I can talk some sense into them. But I have to find a way up. And that's just the trouble. This lift only goes down, you see, and... Uh, well, that doesn't get me anywhere. Hmm. Yep, the answer to this conundrum is get on the elevator and get off. 
as we saw earlier as Sigward come up, there is in fact a second elevator. Taking this one takes us upwards. I forget which side. Is it this side? No, it's the opposite side of the elevator. Okay. You'll want to remember this side of the elevator. The side that faces this. And we'll head up top. We get to speak it with the guy who was shooting us with arrows earlier. A giant. Who are you? I help any time. Now, he gives us a young white branch. If we look in our inventory, we now have two stacks of them. This white branch here, try not to use it if you don't want him to shoot you. You must carry that branch or he will forget who you are and will still shoot you, regardless. Now, we'll take the elevator back down, and you'll see a platform here. We jump off. As you can hear, Sigurd is here again, contemplating what he's going to do now. Mm. Mm. Ah. Oh, don't disappear like that. You have me downright worried. But thanks to you, an epiphany has struck me square in the head. I've unraveled the riddle of this inscrutable lift. <laughs> yes, he'll take the credit for your work. On some days, I begin to doubt myself. I went up the tower, so I thought, then somehow ended up here. I'm not exactly sure what happened. Anyhow, do you see that? That humongous beast? I'm no coward and I have a steady hand, but that thing makes my skin crawl. How now? Think twice before you go down that road. Nope. Now, Sigurd is a part of a very nice quest line. It actually has a bit of a sad ending. No! You should have waited! And the quest line well, requires you to work with Sigurd and help I him out in certain parts. The first part. Ah! is dealing with this here demon where you and Sigurd ow fight together to kill it in other words good tip let Sigurd do 90% of the work as I've always seen in this fight Sigurd seems to have no health bar during this fight In other words, as far as to my knowledge, Seedward cannot die. You can also use this hidey hole over here to hide away from that thing. As you allow Seedward to do 90% of the Or you can get too close like that and get yourself killed like I did. Gosh darn it. Dealing with that demon is going to be difficult as I am primarily a, well, so far we are primarily a fire-based character. So it's going to be a pain in the butt to fight that thing. So let's go ahead and let's try the partisan out against it. Give us a bit more range and more damage. I mean, there are some st slightly stronger weapons, but that we've got on hand and that's 130 that's extra damage altogether but again I want to try something different so we will use the partisan it will only result to other weapons if weapons are chosen aren't working um, but I guess I will end this video here as we'll wait for the enemies to go by and in the next video I'll probably already be off helping Sigurd um, when we start the next video as it, I don't think anyone want, cares to see me run past all these enemies and stuff once again so we will 
So, in the next video, we will be back to helping Seaward, and hopefully this time we'll kill the demon. Until then, so long.